guys, it's time for another DIY candy kit marathon. I will put the links to all of these kits down below in the description of where you can buy them, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is this Nair 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 Nair. Uh, this one, I don't think I've done before, and it looks like it's gonna be apple flavor, and it comes with these um, star-shaped sprinkles. Now, I don't know what these three bags mean, but we're gonna find out. So as a side note, I was thinking about doing a like DIY candy kits for beginners video. So let me know if you think that that would be good. I'm um, just kind of going through the different types of candy kits maybe and like where to get them and that sort of thing. But anyways, so this is the tray, which is black, which I don't think I've ever had a black tray for Nair Nair Nair. There's this green packet that says number one. There's this fancy green one that has something that has an exclamation and a question mark and some sparkles. This one says number two. There's a lot of packets in there. There's this purple one. And then there's this one, which also has an exclamation like, oh my God. These packets are kind of scaring me. They like are like, ooh, what is it? Oh, exclamation question mark. So I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen here. This might get kind of exciting. So this is the tray, which is really cute. There's like a little witch hat, and then a star, and then our normal narrow narrow tray, which is the circle. And then we get our little scoop, which I'm gonna rip off, and then a spoon. So I'm very curious about this narrow narrow nay. It seems very. There's a lot of packets going on. It looks like we need to add packet number one and perhaps one scoop of water is what that looks like so packet number one and then one scoop of water okay It smells very strong like apple and it smells like an actual like red delicious or whatever they're called. If you went to the store and picked one up and like smelled the outside of it, if that makes sense. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. It's a very pretty bluish, grayish color. It looks kind of purple on camera, but it's more like a blue. Okay, then we need to add Packet number two. Just this one. And this is gonna change color, I have a feeling. So this changed to a very pretty pink color. I just got some on me. So this is becoming very sticky, which is what Nair Nair Nays do, is they get very sticky. Okay, so there's that. Then it says to pour the sparkly sparklies into the witch hat. So those go in the witch hat. <laughs> How cute. There's like blue pop rocks and then white star sprinkle things. It's making it look like you can add the mystery packet to this to make a new flavor and then you can add this one with another cup of water but I'm not sure what the star's for so I'm actually gonna go figure this out so that I don't ruin it. So as far as I can tell you don't actually need this star hole here but anyways so, let me taste this by itself, because apparently this has like two other flavors to it. So, first I'm going to try it, just apple, and maybe I'll do a little bit of this. That is very nice. It has a very nice apple flavor. The blue candies are Pop Rocks. 
which are very nice. And then the white are just like little sprinkles. So this tastes very nice just by itself. So right now this is like a light pink. So now let's add the yellow packet. And I think this is gonna change color. Maybe, possibly. So it kind of turned more yellowish. So let's taste it now. I wanna say it tastes like lemon now. Yeah, definitely it kind of tastes like lemon now. So now, we need to add one more scoop of water within the purple packet. Ooh, it's fizzings. So it's fizzing up a lot right now. So now let's taste this. I think it's still a lemon flavor. I can't really tell. Hmm. It's still good though. This candy had a color change and then a flavor change, which is kind of cool. I always really like the Nara Nara Nays. They're very sweet and they're fun to do. So I give this one a five out of five. I think it's really cool. I like that it comes with Pop Rocks. And I think it was just really nice and easy and fun. So there we go. On to the next one. So the next kit is this one, which I think is called Crayon Land, maybe. Um, I've already done this before on my channel, but I wanted to do it again. I thought it was really, really fun the first time. So let's just go ahead and open it. So the first thing we get is this tray with a mold, and we got a penguin with a fish, a hot air balloon, a lemon slice or citrus slice and then an ice cream cone you also get a little water scoop and then this like stick thing to fill in the colors you get our color packet so we got a yellow a blue and a red and then you get the white candy and then your tray so what we're gonna do is use the white candy to make to push it in the mold and then you fill it in using the color candy. And it's really, really fun and cute. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna cut this off. Cut this. So the first thing we need to do is put our white candy in our mold. The white candy smells really good. So, I'm trying to make it even, but I don't know how well that's gonna work. So I filled in all of my molds. Now we just need to pop them out. So that's what it looks like. There's like little raised edges to fill it in. Okay, so now we'll set those aside for now while we make all of the colors. Red and then the blue. So now we need one scoop of water for each hole. Okay. And then we'll use our little stick to stir it. So 
So now I can use the colors to mix more colors. So I'm gonna make some green. Okay, so I mixed up some purple, green, and some orange. So now let's just color in our little thingies. We'll start with the little penguin. I guess I'll color it how the package shows. My husband actually really likes penguins. And when we went on our honeymoon, we went to um, Moody Gardens in Galveston, and they had a thing where you could go um, behind behind the scenes and be in a room, and they bring a penguin in, and they put paint on their feet and made them walk across a canvas. So we have a canvas with penguin feet prints on it. It's pretty funny. I don't know what color to do the fish now. Maybe I'll make the fish mm, purple. Maybe I'll make a different shade of purple for the head. Yay. Oh no, where did I get that? Where did I do that? Must have overflowed it. Okay, so there is our little penguin that looks pretty adorable. I'm going to move this over here. Okay, now let's do our little lemon, lemon orange slash lime. Make it an orange slice. Okay. And then I'm going to make a lighter orange. I'm just filling these too much. Get a little crazy. Okay, there's our little orange. Now the hot air balloon. I kinda wanna do multiple colors. So let me try to do like a rainbow. I've never been in a hot air balloon, but I'd really like to. My husband will probably not go with me because he's kind of scared of heights. <laughs> if I were to go in a hot air balloon, I would like to go in one either shaped like Rilakkuma or something food related. Maybe like a giant cupcake one. That would be really cool. I think it came out pretty good. Looks very watercolory. And then for our ice cream, what should I do for the ice cream? Make the ice cream chocolate. So these are all of my candies. I thought they came out pretty cute. I really like the hot air balloon. I think it looks really cool. Um, so now it's time to eat. So let's start with the little orange. The soft candy is really nice. It's very soft and chewy. 
The soft candy is really nice. It's soda flavored. It's very sweet and it's very nice. The color part doesn't really have a flavor to me. I know it's supposed to be lemon, strawberry, and soda flavor for the um, color part, but I kind of don't really get that really shining through. But I mean, the can the soft candy tastes good enough to where it doesn't really matter to me that the color doesn't really taste. It is very nice though, and I think these came out really, really cute. Little hot air balloon. Overall, I think it's really, really yummy and fun to do, so I give this one a 5 out of 5. On to the next one. Lastly is this one, and it has pie on here, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be pie flavored. I hope to God that it is pie flavored, but I don't know if it is or not. So it looks like there's an apple and a lemon, so I don't know... I don't know what what this is going to be, but we're going to find out. That's the beauty of these. So we have this packet, this orange packet, this packet, a bag, two bags, and then you get all of these contraptions including this little, um, it's kind of like a little, like, um, press, I think, but we're gonna find out. And then we get this giant tray, which has two sides and then the centerpiece. So it looks like the first thing we need to do is break apart all of our little tools. So we have this two-sided spoon scoop thing. And then these pieces. Okay, so we need to put this packet into this smells super strong like apple and it smells really really good. <laughs> Oh, it smells really good. Okay, so these are like little beads. And then we need to add a scoop of water. Okay. And then we need to mix it up in the bag. Okay, so that's kind of hard to do, but I got it all mixed together, so then I'm going to pour it in here. Okay, now I need to do the same for the other packet. Okay, so I think that's as good as it's going to get. Okay, so now we have our lemon flavor and our apple flavor. So now what we need to do is take our little plunger piece and put it here. And then we will fill it up with some of the powder. I don't know how much to do, that's probably way too much. And then we stick our little thingy in here. And then we plop out a little coin. And they're very, very fragile. So I'm just going to scoot it over there. So let's make a lemon one. So apparently this packet is supposed to have some, there's like a biscuit thing in there. So I'm going to break it up, as it says to do, and I'm going to sprinkle it on here. And I think this is supposed to make it taste like pie because I think this is like a crust. So I'm really excited about that. 
Oh, it smells like graham cracker. So I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle this between the two. Oh, I'm so excited for it to taste like pie. Okay, so these are all of our little candies. So first I'll try just the plain flavors by themselves without the crust. So this is the lemon. Wow, that is very strongly lemon flavored. It's really nice texture, it just kind of dissolves in your mouth. I like that. So let me try the apple. Very nice apple flavor, very mild. Again, very nice texture. So let me try the pie one. I'm so excited. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. <laughs> the little, like, cookie thing that you break up is very, like, buttery and very nice. So when you add it with the apple, like, it really does taste like apple pie. It's so good. The lemon mixed with the crust, I think, is supposed to be, like, a like a lemon meringue pie, maybe? But it's really, really good. I really actually prefer it with the crust flavoring like I think it really adds to it so this was really really cool I really love that it is tastes like actual pie like anything pie flavored I'm there I love it so I'm gonna give this kit a five out of five it's actually really cool how you like use a little plunger it's slightly messy but it comes with the bag so at least that helps it um, but yeah I think this kit was really fun and it's really really tasty so I give this a five out of five if you want to get any of these kits, I'll put the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.